Hey, 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 family, what's going on? Uh, I was just getting something out, but something just came to me. I want, I want to, I wanted to come on and stress. Just a second, let me finish creating that <coughs> message. Great, awesome, and amazing day. I, you know I've been here already, but let's jump on another time. Um, let's talk about how we, you know, we give up on ourselves too easily, basically. I want to talk to the people who, you know, who set limits to themselves. I want to talk to the people who may, you know, who are not consistent, you know, um, with themselves, right? I know many of us have areas in strengths and weaknesses and, you know, SWATs um, that we can, can, can focus on. However, in this situation, I want you to really start looking at, you know, comparing the leverage of, of effort and, and commitment and loyalty that you put into the type of energy that you're putting into your jobs that you're putting into your commitments that you're putting into um an employment a project or something a school these things that you're putting into whatever you commit yourself to no matter how lengthy they are you are going to continue to pursue it because you're perceiving that this is something that at the end of this, there is a reward that is going to be given to you. And you're assuming that achieving that is going to give you a sort of gratification. Okay. But when it comes to personal development, right? In the areas of personal development, we may, you know, read book casually, but we're not reading books to help us in the areas that we need strengthening, strengthening in, knowledge in, or wisdom or something in that effect, right? We're not focusing those areas. But then when we start developing interests or we're led to those areas and we start saying, yeah, you know, time, like, times around these years a lot of people are focused and really analyzing the things that they're going through the things that they've been through they're we're really taking inventory of our lives um but the very thing that we are avoiding is the very thing that we 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 need we definitely need to um to to be working and focusing on because when we actually do focus on those things and strengthen and grow and develop the areas in our personal lives and developing the areas in our emotional intelligence in our you know and in our mental mastery you know mental intelligence you know we start to to act and think and analyze things differently on different levels then wherever we are we can see our way out right Wherever we are, not only can we see our way out, but we're able to have um, emotional um, mastery. We are able to uh, have emotional intelligence. We're able to control our emotions. We're able and we're able to control our feelings. Right? Many of times, our feelings and our emotion put a a permanent pause. A delay or a block in our lives I know it's still happening in areas in my life even though I have the formula to overcome it and I know then I have enough knowledge to know that I need to be persistent to continue doing it if you're on my life earlier you know that you know every year I read you know devotionals and one of the devotionals I had from 2002 is one of the is is this here, which is a really good one. But one of the things that I have not done consistently is read it full through, all the way through, right? And some people would say, "Oh, I've read the Bible. I've read the Bible several times over in my lifetime, but what, I've never read it all the way through, right?" And that though these are things that I set myself up to challenge, and until I've accomplished that right? I'm going to keep 
reading it over not to mention there are some things I definitely miss and every time you come back and you look at it and you read things over your perception becomes different and every level you're on you you still again perceive things on that level so now you're looking back onto something that you looked at when you were in a different place and a different level of your life now you've worked on yourself and you're up here now when you're reading this you you gather a different and a, and, and, and a better understanding on different levels so my thing is personal development is so important because then it it helps you in the management in areas in your life as you're developing in business in health you make wiser decisions right right um your priorities shift when it comes to your health when it comes to your finances right many of us already know what is right what needs to be put in place what we should be leaving for our children this and that but because we're so content and we're so you know we're so comfortable with where we are in our positions of life that the things that are not in position that should be positioned we're okay with that because it's not it, in our mind it has not been an emergency so it's not an urgency right but really when you when we pass away and leave our children guess what that emergency now becomes an urgency because then now those children don't have anything to help us to get to where um to help us bury to bury us and to help them continue a life ahead of them at least for a portion if if any right we have to build upon things that's going to carry us over and kick up and flow over to our generation we have to can you imagine if all of us start building that instilling that in our children and they continue that and that we are going to start building back ourselves up instead we're doing the opposite things were taken away from us we are taking away from our children and we continuing that cycle of lack into the children's life and i'm not talking about any every and anybody i'm talking about my culture i'm talking about my environment i'm talking about who i've been amongst and around my entire life that i can see and relate and i've been i've, I've been around many likes of people and and been characters many many feels many you know from Yale to jail, from zero dollars to multi-billionaires to, like, you know, wise counsel to people who give foolish counsel. So there's a range of, you know, experience and knowledge that I'm actually speaking from. So personal development amongst everything, guys. I know I come out here and I talk about the fitness. I know I come out here and I post about, you know, the products. I tell us about these amazing... Mm, is amazing sea moss yes i'm still trying to take out everything out of the sea moss child so nice um all these amazing products right if you ain't got complex right this is this is this this y'all yeah. this it has every in it this is a great immune booster it's a combination of powerful herbs vitamins minerals um all sorts other things but besides all the products the waist trainers besides all the the fitness groups and coaching and and things like that you guys you me we have to work on ourselves right a lot of <laughs> i was on the phone today and one of the things we were talking about was similar to to you know to identifying you and 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 really being being focused on on who you are you know especially this year but one of the things that came out was the fact that you know if you're seeing something in a person's life what i was saying if you're seeing something for yourself in a person's life know that that was manifested within that person right over time 
it was confined that person was holding it. it they were hiding it behind doors they were doing it so eventually now over time you're going to start seeing it appear into their life for example like a, a, a dirty car and the dirty home concept how a lot of people say if your mindset is is not cleared and it's full of cluttered it is going to appear on the outside um, like in your cars and th things like that you didn't start out that way when you got the car or you moved into the place but over time you know eventually it started showing on the outside and that's because you haven't dealt with the things on the inside for it to start you haven't cleaned house on the inside and um, to create room to clean house on the outside so I find it so important to really focus on the things that you're doing what's going through um, your mind how you're feeling guys how you're feeling pay attention to that and correct it because at the end of the day we're all going through some sort of form of depression some form of anxiety and you don't know what a person is going through but you have to keep overcoming those emotions and feelings because those emotions and those feelings they don't care whether you ain't got no money they don't care if you never ate they don't care if your health is good or bad they don't care like those emotions and feelings they don't but they don't care in fact the emotions and feelings add to whatever it is that you're doing if you're worrying if you're fearful if you're you know scared if you're you're panicky if you're adding you know you having anxieties you're having all those you're sending these signals to your body which are creating negative um, cells and things in your body that forms into disease that that settle and breed up you know toxins and 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 this disease that I call disease in your body that causes over long over acids and over 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 time unhealthy lifestyle in contrast to when your mood your feelings your emotions are on a higher vibration you're happy you're full of joy you're you're feeling spunky you're feeling yourself you're feeling yourself um, you operate more in a higher vibration you're happy you're healthy you look much younger your skin looks glowing you feel much happier you, you, people want to be around you now you're the more like now you're sending these nice signals to your body saying okay this is the vibe this is it and and you, you love we love operating in this frequencies so find out what that is for you find out what that is for you and get there i know it's not easy to get up and do especially when you're just starting out you know we don't always feel like we want to get up and we roll ourselves out of bed anyway so that we can get up and go to work okay so get up and roll yourself out of bed anyways and work on you right work on you right you shouldn't be making excuses for you and not making excuses as to why you think you're getting up to go slave yourself at a person's job but not thinking about after that about you and after work about you when when this this workplace closes about you when um what if this company shuts down and about you you are you are sowing into you're sowing seed into a company that you know it's either you leave or it leaves that is not a secure fund you that's not a secure way of income for me i mean that's one way of income now how is it can i can i can i provide multiple ways so that you know i am secure in one and en you know in one entity if if in the event something happens like a pandemic and I think I need to cut my nose hair, hair guys. <laughs> Feels like something is on. <laughs> Sorry. TMI. But anywho, human. So, um, and I lost my train of thought, of course. Talking about nose wool. But, yeah, separate something about entities. No. It'll come back. But, guys, get serious with your personal time with you make no excuses for time alone time invested in yourself investing in your health um, 
being true to yourself and saying, you know what, I can't do it myself. I got to have an accountability partner and invest into someone that you know that's you know that can help keep you accountable that you are going to show up for and be coachable and do exactly what that person says get on a program out there that is going to help get you on the track and that's going to help you transform in the areas that you want to transform is like we always say we have we, we want to work on our body but what has been stopping you from working on your body? So let's, it's, it's, it's not really the exercise part. You can create the discipline and to, to get the exercise in, but what are you telling yourself? What are you believing in yourself? What is, it, there's still a mindset and, 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 and personal development to it. So everything with me, when it's talking about connecting and connected connections, I like to always start with personal development. It's always with the mind, body, spirit movement. We, we work on everything like that together. We get your mindset. What are your thoughts about, you know, workout, fitness? Why haven't you, why can't you even consider starting with walking um, a little bit? You may say, oh, may, you may live in a cold country like myself right now because it's winter. Mm, I don't want to go outside and walk, but... What happens on the days there are a few days out of the winter that 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 do you know that that is kind of mild and are are you know you can walk in it what do you do on those days right it's not cold anymore so but and then also finding solutions to to switch it up during the days that it is cold like for me it's obviously we have to work out inside so yeah i gotta do that and you know it's could be exciting but i really don't have the room to you know to make it as exciting as i want it to be i'm working with like a really tiny space and i don't like tiny space but i'm working with what i got um so but i just like to switch it up i do little different things i train with other people during the day i i work out with my accountability partner <coughs> Um, I I work out while playing music. I work out to make little videos, and if the videos them don't look good, then I'll turn it away, or I'll create little story clips, and things like that. So I get creative to still make it interesting to me. I have accountability programs and 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 fitness challenges and things like that to keep my interest as along along with helping you um, committed to staying with your goal, keeping you accountable and um sharing with new audience so that you know this this amazing program needs to get out there for everybody because if you are at a place where i was where you know what you were just really you knew you kind of knew what you needed to do, do you just needed that safe place that accountability that you know that place where you can kind of be yourself that place where you are able to you know speak your truth you have your journey no pressure and talk it through and 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 be encouraged by other people's stories and see people that you can connect with personally because they'll be in the group as well so you can consider us all friends family and just see how your body start you know you get motivated you get inspired by their transformation you learn their stories you get to see like oh my god i'm not the only one going through that like oh my god like you know so get get in can still join we have our 14 day challenge and then we have our mind body new new year new body challenge that's going on right now 14 day challenge is only for 14 days so yeah that the first phase of that is about to be over so it's kind of late to be to join in to that one you can still join into the the new year new body challenge which is a 30-day challenge and yeah you can still register for that and join the the, the the group phase two of the 14 day workout done first phase one sorry done phase two you can register for that's going to start i think three days after the 14th maybe or two days i don't remember i have my calendar here but i don't want to open it right <laughs> so yeah any questions 
if you guys have any concerns holla at your girl if you want to join holla at your girl if you want the products if you're looking for the nutribers nutribers is there sea moss is still not back yet i i have mine but yeah mm -hmm. yeah sea moss is still not back yet um but we do have we still have lots of products we we may have a weekend sale you know so look out for that we have a new product that's coming out which is going to be a surprise but it's going to make you feel good feel good hey feel good yay yeah. we still have our waist trainers um waist trainers we are pre-ordering those guys okay so get your pre-orders of your waist trainer we got the pink and black waist belts double strapped ones and then we have our goddess vest which is the vest you put your arms open you know through zip it up waist trainer double belt double strapped as well mm -hmm. um what what else get you some vitamins if you're not on vitamins get some vitamins and drink some water write your visions down and Go. If you need help with, you know, writing your vision down or focusing, you know, or finding your purpose and things like that, just holler at me. I can help you with that. I do that also from a separate, pardon me, I do that also from a separate uh, platform. I don't know why my eyes are hurting me, but let's take it off. I can't see you guys though. I, yeah, I do that from a second platform, a different platform. So if you're looking for mentorship in the area of DIYing your business and, you know, website, post, landing page, the works, let, tap into my network, um, we can get you started if identifying your business purpose and let's get you let's get you making some money in 2021 why not right you can get affiliate or become an ambassador with one of the programs i have here too we have all of those i'm looking for ambassadors right now so if you know anybody who's looking to become an ambassador holler at your girl great benefits right great commission so connect with me all right peace and love i don't want to hold you i really kind of should really kind of sort of should be on here a little bit longer but in any event i may come back later and we can talk again so peace and love